All the people don't have freedom. All the people don't have justice. And all the people don't have power. That means none of us do. Provide the leadership to the people's revolution so he can take this country and change it. Turn it upside down and put the last first and the first last. Not only for black people, but for all people. We declare our right on this earth to be a man, to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the rights of a human being in this society on this earth. Again, Kuta can say the conscious comedian. I'm here again, you know, at the Bobby Seale event. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to RVA, shout out to Kroger Spot. You know what I'm saying? When the holler at Bobby Seal got me some great knowledge, man, like a lot of y'all should have got. I mean, he was talking about organization, you know what I'm saying? Got even got even some sign by Bobby Seal, you know. So, you know, feel connected with the ancestors. Juneteenth, man. Y'all need to salute, man. You know what I'm saying? Pay homage to your ancestors, man. All power to the people. Boom. And that street corner, and that dirty party people who just stopped to hear the poem, start hollering, more, 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 more. And you was told, we said, I told you, I told you Bobby's a great communicator. I said, man, the hell with that stuff. <laughs> but a guy come up, he's a cat crew cut, yellow t-shirt on jeans, and walked to me and grabbed my arm. Talking about, you use obscene language, you're under arrest. I said, man, get your hands off me, who the hell are you? I didn't even know this guy was an undercover cop. I said, you know me grabbing on me, talking to someone crap. And I said, when you talking about obscene language? I said, we just won with the free speech movement in the Supreme Court, and we can say the four-letter word fuck all we want, man, because it's called freedom of expression. But well, I'm trying to tell you how this party got started. <laughs> 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 to go out there and observe those police. We knew it. And I was telling Huey, you gotta prove yourself, because you're not a real organizer yet. You'll be an equal or you'll be an equal leader and organizer with me when you prove yourself. So he did all that research, I backed him up and got all this other stuff, because I'm the one that had the resources to do everything. I rented their office, et cetera, bought extra shotguns, et cetera, that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. My point though, <laughs> so Huey really worked, and I really have to give him credit when he put, when he put this, wait a minute, let me show you what he put together. We want land, bread, housing, education, clothing, justice, and peace. We fought in every war up to that time. You see what I mean? We were fighting in Vietnam. 29% of all the people who was dying on the front lines of Vietnam was African Americans, plus some Native Americans, plus some Hispanic Americans and other people of color, plus some young poor white guys who didn't need to be in the war dying no goddamn way. You see what I mean? So this is where I was coming from when we wrote that 10 point platform and program and I put that Declaration of Independence. I'm a goddamn first class citizen in this country even though they treat me second. So I'm gonna act in the manner and the mentality of a first class citizen. I, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go out here and we're gonna patrol some police, me and you at the side. We're gonna patrol and observe some police. And since we know that they jumped on and beat up some people down in Los Angeles a year earlier after the Watch Rides, yes they did.